Wonderful. Welcome. We're doing the student checkup word 2-3 right now. And so what we need to go ahead and do is <clears throat> open up our student checkup 2-2 document that we finished and save the name to uh, student ch uh, our initial student checkup 2-3. So to begin with, we're going to, we're going to change track changes settings to uh, on, uh, where we're going to change markup to all markup. So we're going to go ahead and go to the review tab here. We're going to change from simple markup to all markup, and we're going to go ahead and hit track changes. Make sure that is on. So you can tell that it's on because it's grayed out right there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the second paragraph. So this one, if if you don't have it uh, marked as flows, then go ahead and we'll, what we'll do is we'll change it. So the idea is that you're changing something in the paragraph. So this is what it's talking about here. Mine's already flows, so I don't have to worry about changing it. So I, I went ahead and and got rid of it, changed it to flows, right? Deleted one flows, added another flows, just so you can see the difference there. So we're looking for plentiful right here. So this is plentiful, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look up and we're gonna use the thesaurus. So uh, there's the thesaurus up here on the top left corner. If I click on that, then it's going to give me options. Right, so the one that it says to choose is abundant. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that. Insert. So once I find abundant in there, go ahead and we can insert that and there it is, it's in there. There's also another way to do it as well. You can go to a word, for example, like, uh, let's say, let's say mini right here and we can right click on it and then the thesaurus is in there as well, right? See synonyms? So that's gonna be the, a similar thing that you can use on there and find something there. And then once you click on one here, it will insert it directly in, okay? So that's what we do there for that one. And now we're gonna uh, select the last paragraph on page three. So I'm going to select the entire last paragraph here and I'm going to add a comment in the comment box. So new comment and go ahead and close my thesaurus there and the new comment is going to be this. Okay, there we are. So there's our comment. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit the view tab. We're going to turn on our rulers and guidelines. So my ruler is already checked. I'm going to go ahead and do grid lines there. So those are on. I'm using the zoom function. I'm going to go up to 200% right there. Move to the end of the document, which I can do control end here. And I'm at the end of the document. Click on the layout tab. And what I want to do here is I'm actually going to enter a uh, page break. So I need to include a page break here, section break. So I have a new pat, a new, uh, a new page here because it says insert uh, the point at the beginning of the new page. And now we're going to insert a reference page with APA style. So here's our references. Um, we're going to have a reference page here. So what we want to do before we put our reference in, we want to go ahead and change uh, this formatting here to one column. Okay, so here's our layout. And so our columns, we're just going to change it to one. And then we're going to go to references and bibliography. And we're going to insert reference here. And that's it. So please save this document. Uh, make sure it's saved. And, and, make, and then take the document and submit it to 
student checkup 2-3 uh, assignment link in Canvas. So have a good day. Bye.